Okay, welcome back, everyone. Again, I can hear myself. Oh, I keep forgetting to press that button. So, it's the Unique TV Company of Heroes Barbecue Weekend in celebration of Company of Heroes 2 announcement. Yes, because that game is apparently going to come sometime in 2013. And we're all super excited. I have been disconnected from chat. And you can probably understand how irritating that is for me when I was asking about a replay. So, unfortunately, I had to pick one out at random. I have no idea if it's going to be good. I had to render it very quickly. But we're going to dive into the game and see how it is. Hello, everyone. This is Our Man Bones versus The Trooper. Two names I have never, ever, 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 ever heard of. But they'll be playing on the barbecue weekend. There we go. Here I am. Here's the game going. And <clears throat> this will be the last game of tonight. I am. Um, I suppose I had a nice time. Uh, I had like a minute amount of views, but nah, who cares? I'm going to try and rip apart these videos and edit them and upload them on YouTube if possible. I just need to find a FL4 converter or something. I've downloaded so many programs and they just don't work. Anyway, we'll introduce these players properly. On the north side of Sturvdors is our man Bones. Who man Bones? He's the man of Bones, but not Bones from the tally. I like that show, it's not bad. And on the south side, the other unbeknownst guy, the Trooper. These might be Smurfs. Maybe someone knows them. Maybe someone can write in chat. Oh wait, I can't read chat. Twitch TV, why are you so terrible when it comes to chat? I have so much difficulty just like keeping a stable connection to chat. Um, it's really awkward. Uh, both players already starting capturing. That's good stuff. We've got fuel on this side and munitions. Whereas we're getting the strategic point over here. And the munitions for our allies here. Where are they going to go? They're going to dart for the middle of the field. This plus 16 fuel point is most likely the trooper's end goal uh, for the gapping. Ugh. I had a lovely miniature meal of mainly Jaffa cakes and orange juice in the 35 minutes but during that time I'm also rendering the like player versus player title sequence that you saw at the start which I hope works I have again no confirmation I can I have no point. idea if things work I have no idea if people are even listening or watching but who cares we'll go ahead anyway and just pray for the best we've got Volks uh, against Riflemen the Riflemen are uh, almost in like cover Go for it, the Volks are darting for the heavy cover. Uh, they are in. It looks like the Volks might have the advantage. They've already taken a considerable amount of damage though. Uh, we do have engineers back here as well. The riflemen move back from our man Bones to take cover behind the heavy cover themselves. So we've got a slugfest. Uh, both players behind cover, both players moving around, darting around. Uh, so, you know, we're kind of judging their skill levels right now because I have no idea who they are. But they can identify cover, they can move around, they can micro, they aren't not they are not just moving their infantry and hoping to engage. In fact, these Volks are playing, uh, like trying to move around here and take some shots at that whilst avoiding uh, contact with a rifleman. But it doesn't work out too well. There is a machine gun, a machine gun in place, and the trooper already taking care of the rifleman. The second squad of riflemen moving up on the flank. Will he see it? The trooper. Surely that was just in range, but no, he isn't able to do it. He was trying to turn it as well, uh, but the rifleman succeeded on that one. So Amman Bones with the flank. Playing Americano the way that Americano is meant to be played. Good on him. Meanwhile, though, the pioneers are moving up here to capture that very significant fuel point. And they'll get access to that victory point as well. But no one's really too bothered. Apart from uh, our man Bones, who's going for this victory point. Uh, he likes that victory point. He's going to have that very early on. He's even moving up here to capture this point here, which isn't a cutoff point. Because we have that territory there. But the rifleman. Uh, now need to move back, moving across negative cover, never too good, we've got double vaults, and we'll have that machine gun setting up right there, it needs to move a bit more forward to be useful, uh, but the vaults have got this, even capping under fire, and Alman Bones knows it, he's targeting the squad which is actually capturing, uh, but sure enough that one, it can't be that one, is it? No, I'm, fa I'm, fa I'm not sure now, I'm not sure at all, but uh, one thing is for certain, the trooper wins that engagement, uh, the engineers, Capture and move back, move back, move back. Heavy cover. Yes, he's doing it. Man, bones. Good job. Uh, the machine gun <laughs> it went into this building, I think, or at least it was trying to. Uh, the rifleman kind of negated that effect, though. They hop into the building themselves. Uh, not too good, though. There's only a few windows there, and they're not in range. So they're useless. They are not doing anything right now. 
pretty pointless them being there, but they are stopping the machine gunner from moving again. The machine gunner could certainly move up the vaults here, could certainly move up as well. Uh, we've got a small engagement from building to building here. Let's check this out. Uh, in war, I think it was the first or second stream, I can't remember. It'll be one of those two that I did. Do check my Twitch TV channel if you want to check the normal ones. But also check my YouTube channel uh, because that will have the games eventually uploaded uh, to uh, my YouTube channel, which is something like a nuke TV. We will link that again, uh, which will cause the sound to jerk a bit. Uh, anyway, the riflemen are now being somewhat useful but only two windows Germans are seizing all terror. they can fire out of they haven't really quite figured out how to fire in the same window just yet uh, maybe that will be a tech upgrade for them to be able to do that oh yes we have a tech choice this is definitely definitely grenades going off into this building let's check it one two three right in the windows four four grenades five six <laughs> Choking seven, and that guy falls out the window. There's also a very glitchy guy down here who was warping around all over the place. But that is Blitzkrieg for you—a really early game ability, early CP. <clears throat> Invested on the right-hand side of that tree, getting those assault grenades, which also bolster your—I uh, think it's—I can't remember what sort of buff it is, but it is definitely a buff which happens on your troops as well as chucking grenades as well. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, to have early game. He's now capturing the victory point. He has this one on the right as well. Who won the engineering engagement? We're not entirely sure, but uh, it looks like the pioneers seem to be very alive, so I guess it's them. Uh, unless it was these guys that retreated. We are getting a Comcraft center, uh, which is useful for veteraning up your infantry. Uh, presumably infantry, because he has no vehicles. Seems kind of logical to me. Uh, also, another thing I goddammit forgot to do, that this is game free. Duh. Yeah, I need to remember to play that at the start, uh, since I made them all. That way, uh, what I'll do is I'll say how many games I'm casting tonight, and you'll know which game you tune into if you join us early. If you're joining me now, then where were you? You had a plenty, like, 35 minutes to wait. We have a med center up, uh, which is going to be sweet. Medic station, go, go, medics. Nobody's died yet and been picked up. Uh, Flame Engineers, also a fantastic choice. Always get them. Uh, not seeing any mine placements is definitely kind of worrying because we all know mines win games and there's plenty of good mine locations here uh, up here as well uh, down this road there uh, points uh, all neat stuff like that are we going to see more grenades though this is probably where the munitions is going to be put into uh, grenades phasing through the wall doing a lot of damage you can see that squad is almost dead they really can't take any more grenades and they're going into the building Two guys, one guy's he isn't escaping. We lost a squad. Uh, don't tell me those guys were there. Bars are up. We have a bar dropped outside the building. It would be well worth picking that up. Uh, it doesn't look like you can see it though, because it's just there. Do it. No. It's an unfortunate place for it to drop, but it is a place uh, where a bar should be picked up anyway. A bunker is down. I'm not liking the position of that bunker. Uh, it could be a med bunker though. <clears throat> Which will be fine because he can stick an MG inside of it, uh, which he has done, and the MG can face out all those windows. But meanwhile, happening on the battle up here, we have a flamethrower from the trooper burning the soldiers out of there, uh, which is a lot more cost effective than actually throwing grenades in there because you only have to upgrade these guys once. And no one's seen the bar behind the building. This is definitely a children's book story. The bar behind the building. They could just like go there, they could see it. Oh man, it's just a waste of a bar. Uh, they're fighting right next to the med bunker, which should be a very easy job for medics to pick up. Uh, one casualty going to get picked up now. The folks very, very weak. Uh, haven't lost a single casualty yet. A lot of damage. There we go. One soldier goes down. Uh, not a Vox, though. It's not a Vox. Those hardy Vox. Go, go. There we go. We finally got one instead. Um, are they going to be retreating? Yes, they are. The two men squad. So they took a lot of casualties there at the end, but. Uh, until they were on very low health, it was absolutely we have fine. We've got a pack moving up, uh, which means tier 2. What is our response to this? Our response is a supply yard. So we're not quite there uh, in terms of getting multiple just yet. So this pack is not going to be doing too much. When really, it can destroy some of these buildings if it thinks it's not going to be any use to you. I mean, trooper says, I'm never going to use that building. It's only going to be useful against me. Yeah, he can destroy it, but most likely he's just going to sit there and stealth and wait for the 
again, <clears throat> like I mentioned last game, uh, it's cautious play, but there is a little bit of breathing room. You saw those bars pop up, you saw that you had a good amount of fuel. You are not going to get an M8 anytime soon. Well, you are going to get it soon, but not soon enough. You can get like a Grenadier squad out uh, and then get a pack. You'll be totally fine. We have Airborne uh, out already getting the recallless rifle again. I guess he expects Pumas, but still, still not a good choice. But anyway, hey ho, we got a second pack because of all the armor on the field. So much armor hidden. We must have Mirage tank in the trees. Uh, Volks moving around here. Their destination is this. Anything to steal inside this building? Let's have a look. Through the keyhole. No, there is nothing to steal. Absolutely none whatsoever. Uh, but the Volks are going to meet that rifle and squad soon enough. Soon. Uh, Rifleman and Airborne are uh, picking their engagement with the Volks. That's not a bad engagement to do. Uh, honestly, oh, we do have mines up. Sweet, there are mines in between this building. That's another excellent place for a mine. Uh, commonly crossed ground. Uh, Flame throwers are moving in, ready for a flank. That's excellent as well. The Volks need to get in there, do some distraction tactics, maybe focus on these guys in the building, chuck some grenades in there. That'll be highly effective. Whilst the pioneers deal with these guys in the building, uh, there's no window facing that way. Absolutely terrifying. Ah, you gotta watch where those windows are. That is a medic window. So both players have medic windows. Sweet. Uh, infantry battles ahead. I like that. The Volks are capturing that fuel point all the way up there. Uh, the Volks down here in their battle. So close to a mine. More mines. <laughs> you can do it. This guy is... Penguin stance. I don't know why the animations do that. It's very... <laughs> very glitchy. He's got no gun. He's very unlucky. Uh... <clears throat> No battles commencing just yet. Capturing resumes. Uh, two packs on the field. We have a motor pool. You can see, look at the amount of time that that took. Uh, we could have benefited from Grenadiers there. Losing or a half track. Or a mortar. Oh, a mortar! Sweet! Yay! Uh, a mortar is going to be highly effective against these buildings. And that's actually been converted to a forward. Uh, base right now, so the packs firing on that would not be a bad idea. We've got some rifle... Uh, what are they? Airborne back here. They were about to throw a death pack on this bunker, which would have been great, but unfortunately, uh, retreated a little bit too early, but at the same time, a little bit too early was the best because look, he's almost dead. He just gets out of there. We don't want to be losing airborne squads this early. That's a lot of manpower sink. Uh, the four barracks seem to be decaptured by the Volks now, or going to be decaptured. As the Flame Pioneers uh, make sure these guys sure away, and they're hiding behind heavy cover, which is not too smart to do. Heavy cover, increased fire damage. Everybody knows this. Basic Co 101. Uh, with a nuke, that guy. <laughs> His arm melted off on the wall. Uh, meanwhile, all these guys are burning quite deliciously on the co barbecue weekend and new TV style. Uh, we've got more guys hiding in here, and the flamethrowers uh, do an absolutely fantastic job of doing a lot of damage. The Volks as well managed to hang out long enough uh, to kill the engineers inside there. The mortar is doing some roof damage. Uh, the bars enter, which is definitely going to be a sort of back of the way move from the Volks. They ain't going to be. Uh, Ain't going to be able to do too much against that, but the Mortar can certainly handle that situation. Uh, these guys might be falling out the window very shortly. Oh, they fall backwards. So, they're in there. No, they're not. Where are they? Ah, oh, they phase through the wall. Cunning. That bar is still there. Ah, oh. Oh, I'm so angry. Uh, we're getting friendly fire from the Mortar on the Volk squad. That ain't too good. My mouse is jerking around. The Minesweepers are playing with a... Uh, MP40 Volks with 12 kills. That's nice and impressive uh, for 14 minutes in the game. The Mortar. Uh, I really like this choice. This was... I mean, I was a little bit... You know, that would have been my last choice out of the Tier 2. But it's done pretty well, especially against a forward base. We could certainly see these packs also fire into that forward base. But he's managed to just regularly decap it, which is fine. That's absolutely fine. He got away with it. He maybe took a, a few unnecessary casualties being there. Especially friendly fire. We have a uh, trooper's mine just there as well. 
uh, mortar inflicting more pain on the riflemen. That mortar is just excellent. The medics are picking up soldiers as well. Battle happening over here. MP40s versus bars. Oh, he's even popping med kits. Oh, trooper. Oh, you wily little bastard. You and your med kits. We've also got the blitz assault grenades going up from grenadiers against the... Oh, innocent, defenseless airborne. Half, over half damage. Oh, and a mortar. Oh, jeez, a mortar just wipes out three guys. Uh, we're probably going to see one of these guys die just before we know enough because I'm always wrong. Always, always wrong. Uh, grenadiers and Pioneers are We're getting a second assault go down from the Grenadiers and this time uh, he sees the bar and finally picks it up. We've got to dodge all the grenades now. He doesn't manage to do that. A few guys get stunned. Uh, the mortar also lands but it doesn't actually manage to get anybody that time round. Uh, let's check out the kills for this mortar who's doing excellent behind in the tree line. 15 kills! 15 minutes in, 15 kills, 1 kill per minute. That is absolutely fan dabby dozy for a mortar. Uh, I think you can agree. Uh, now the medic section is taking fire. Uh, the medics, they probably want to be taken out before those guys get put in because the new rifle is what's going to be put out. Uh, the trooper though, come on trooper, you've been playing excellent so far. You've got to take out the medics. Oh, no. Two free bars hit the field. They could be dropped, they could be claimed. Uh, we could be seeing assault grenades. Maybe he just actually wants to kill them for their... Oh, crap, we got return fire grenades! Uh, excellent, wipes out two guys. Uh, we get return fire grenades though again. So grenades absolutely everywhere for everybody at the moment. Uh, <clears throat> meanwhile, oh, we do have two snipers in the field as well. Newborn snipers, three kills between the two of them. Uh, the bars get deadly close to that sniper, taking him to half health, so he's going to have to regen up before he decides to get back into the battlefield. Uh, could be quite risky for him. Do we actually have anything being produced? No, no MA, no half track. No, these packs are absolutely useless so far. Uh, but at least they're there for when they need them. We've already got two kills on that pack. Uh, where did that other pack go? That's, that's the packs. Of all the places to hide, the pack is a wild. The trooper is a wily, sneaky bastard. I tell you that much. Uh, mortar still on 15 kills. Come on, mortar! You've got to get one kill per minute. Uh, we now have a Stu-42 out, which is going to be very difficult to deal with when you don't have an anti-tank gun, but we do have sticky grenades. So, all the tech unlocked for the riflemen right now. Every single one of them. No supply upgrade, though. That's good. We really need to be getting an AT gun out right now. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Our man Bones, you are meant to be good. We were meant to be the chosen one. You've let me down. Where's this AT gun? You can airdrop one. Maybe that's why he doesn't want... He hasn't got the manpower, but maybe that's why he hasn't got an AT gun. Uh, but it's just a waste of tech going to motorball when you're going to get an AT dropped. <clears throat> AT dropped gun. But no matter. Let's see if we can pull this one out of the bag. Uh, we now have Panzer Shreks equipped on the Grenadiers. Because of all the armor... I guess the trooper's actually thinking to himself, I've not seen armor on the field. Where is he massing up? Is he has he gone tank factory? Is he that? I mean, we've seen games like that. I have definitely been in games where guys get their tier four out as allies, and then it just really, really hurts like that as they come in with like double Shermans or double Wolverines or double Hellcats. Uh, sticky on the stew ain't gonna be doing too much. I don't know why the stew's moving forward. It needs to move back right now. Because of its damaged engine, the Jeep did so, so much damage to absolutely everything. It must have got literally like a thousand kills before it died. Uh, well worth its weight in gold. Sniper firing just across from the Stu. Stu 42 and Sniper. Buddy, buddy, side by side. I'm not your guy, friend. Friend, buddy. But everyone's dying here because they're just way too blobbed up. I mean, this is Stu fodder right here. Uh, more Sniper fire. Just both Sniper. Your day, I mean, even even the pioneers are not too concerned about taking fire uh, from these guys. They are so heavily suppressed, so much manpower drain. You're not going to be able to get that 80 gun. I mean, he's even using supply drops now, so even more supply that manpower is being diverted into other stuff. We need an 80 gun. We need it now. We need it either from the motor pool or here. No, like kill that and steal them. You've got to do something. 
Our man Bones, you've got to do something. I hope you'll be watching this game someday and I can hope you can learn something and actually just say, oh, this is a new kid. Oh, he's such, he's such a twat. Yeah. What a bastard. Oh, he's so, so stupid. <laughs> I know, I criticise, but unfortunately when you're commentating games, you have to criticise, you have to be me. You have to act like you know what you're doing, in fact, and I actually... I might actually stream some modern combat later. Cheese, if you're out there, I have no idea. Uh, I shut down my Steam just so people won't annoy me. But I would not mind playing some modern combat. Uh, I am more than happy to stream that if anyone wants to watch it. Uh, there is a modern combat tournament going on right now, I believe, and I'm quite excited to see some of the games out of that. Uh, and hopefully I will bring you some of those games. I will cast some of those games. I will show you how neat the game can be. Uh, so far there's quite a few replays out there which are kind of... Yeah, it doesn't really show the potential of the game. Uh, sort of like a game that we might be watching now. Doesn't show the full potential of the game. Uh, so hopefully the tournament will actually bring you some of those games. Uh, I want to be part of that tournament as well. Uh, there was a prize pool involved, it's like 50 euros for the winner, 25 for the second guy. And that would have been nice for me, I need money right now. <laughs> in fact, I need money so much that I started streaming just in case for some people wanted to donate to me. Wherever those people were, because there were two people that actually messaged me and said, I'd like to donate some money to you. Um, that's perfectly fine if you want to do that. Being reported. Uh, I do have a website, that website is... Do -do -do. Ah, there we go, it actually did, so uh, never mind. Apparently my 24 gigabyte of RAM uh, Super Mega Ultra Dodecahedron processor is not good enough Bird for this. Dog is offering to have a look -see. Silly programs that just can't utilize resources properly. <laughs> uh, but at least it does the music job I do, uh, <clears throat> that I really care about. Uh, so anyway, enough about that, back to the game. Uh, the almost slightly newbie Tuesday game, the trooper is doing very well, he's done some really good calls. Uh, our man Bones needs to book up his ideas a bit because capping whilst you're being fired at by a stew is a terrible idea. Unless you want to lose your rifleman, because like if you have no units on the field, then you get really high manpower gain uh, per minute, and then you can just like totally like blitz the field with a ton of units at the 20 minute mark. You know when the game's lost or something like that. The stew is now firing on a machine gun, which isn't going to be too effective against double stews. Some very odd choices from our man Bones, who I am actually saying he's not our man Bones. I want nothing to do with him. Uh, he is not my friend. Rifleman, oh god, he's so, so dead. Uh, we don't even have a triage center up right now. A lot of fuel, just not putting it. Oh, yay! It's getting an AT gun! 22 minute mark, uh, that was like a, a rush to AT guns. Uh, fast tech to AT guns, rush to AT guns, mass to AT guns. Uh, this is going to be highly effective. I guarantee you. This is the last game, by the way, for those of you that are joining us. I'm sure there's like 20 people watching uh, because I'm not too popular. Oh. Not too popular. I get a lot of views on my YouTube, but I'm not too popular on streams. That's a shame. Uh, I will be streaming tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully, I do need some more games. Maybe I'll put some modern combat games on. Cast them. <coughs> we shall see. Uh, double stews come down here. A bit of friendly fire on the Grenadiers. Trooper, that mine placement is a little bit off, dude. We want to get the choke points. Who's going to come down here? Nobody wants to come down here. There is no McDonald's down there. Uh, which you shouldn't be eating McDonald's anyway because you... It, it makes you big. Being big. Not necessarily bad. But I just, I just don't want to be big. I want to be a petite small. I want to have, like, that height. I want to be a cute height. A cute height would be awesome. Uh, because then I can sneak into vents and scare the shit out of people. Uh, like you do. <clears throat> Random story. Random story. Volks with the MP40. 21 kills for the Volks. Probably no kills for the Rifleman. 6 kills, 7 kills for the Rifleman. Uh, grenades going both ways. The Volks are getting out of there. Uh, certainly worse off than the Rifleman on that one. Uh, but they did engage a little underhanded. 
Uh, the trooper could certainly sort of start pushing these areas, I would say. Uh, especially using mines. Uh, that took me 536 munitions for out. Your man bones. It's your man bones now, not my man bones. Mines. Mines everywhere. Uh, strafing run has to be coming out soon as well. Uh, which isn't going to be too effective considering that we have one Volks, uh, one Grenadier squad, one Pioneer. <laughs> Yo, one Pioneer. We have a repair bunker as well. I mean, not much infantry. Uh, the packs would be an ideal strafe target if you had any armor to help out with that, but it's it's looking pretty bleak uh, right now for Anon Bones. He doesn't seem able to deal with what the trooper throws at him. Even the sniper is picking away. Enemy firing down. through the wall because, you know, why not? They we have those kind of weapons in World War II. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Company of Heroes 2 is announced and that will be set on casualties. the Russian front. <clears throat> and apparently, not all Russian squads have weapons, but they have two weapons per certain of guys. But I doubt the game's going to play that. Bad. I'm sure it's going to be. Oh man, you know, the PPSH, that's going to be an awesome weapon to do. Uh, maybe we'll see that as an upgrade uh, for some really low class recruit soldiers like these guys. I mean, uh, some of the World War II facts I know is like we had entire sections just equipped with a PPSH, which has like 72 bullets, I believe. Um, <clears throat> so they were really highly effective in close combat. And they just charged, they didn't retreat, they charged into the enemy, got really as close as possible, and their PPSHs were very effective. Uh, they also, uh, I'm probably going to see this reflected in Company of Heroes 2 as well, uh, considering the game is based in 1941, uh, which was the year where the Germans kind of, Enemy unit they down. didn't really predict very well. Uh, we lost a Volk squad there. Uh, too bad. They didn't predict uh, or anticipate how good the Russians were technology-wise. They had a tank called the KV-1, which demolished absolutely every single thing, every single tank uh, that the Germans threw. It, it was just the early game unit of all early gamers, so maybe we'll see that reflected in Company of Heroes 2. Uh, there was a story that this KV-1, just a single KV-1, took out a bunch of tanks. Uh, it just drove forward head on, and it even drove up to this uh, howitzer and just crushed it. In fact, it even drove over uh, some, like, I think it was said as a Panzer II tank or something they had at the time. <clears throat> so yeah, look out for the KV-1, it's certainly got to be in there. We know that the T-34s are in there, and there's quite a few variations of the T-34. In fact, the whole army was basically, a uh, whole tank army was upgraded. Uh, same tank, constantly, just the T-34, just constantly changed and modified and upgraded. Stickies, double stickies, back and front. We are getting spit roasted. Yeah, you heard me, we're getting spit roasted on that. Stu, he's actually crushing some infantry as well. Uh, and the Stu's are just charging again. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this game up because it's actually a little bit Actually, I don't mind it because it's like it's a cool bit. Uh, <coughs> we just want to get to the end of this game and I want to have a, a good old game with cheeseburger on my modern combat. Now, I've done three games today and I'm sure you guys want to burst through this replay as well. Oh, you've already left. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Twitch, I hate you so much for this one of our yeah. uh, I was hoping to keep an eye on chat today, but never mind. Grenadiers versus Riflemen. The Riflemen have better cover. You can see, look at the difference here. Vet 2 behind that wall uh, was more than enough to take out those Grenadiers. That heavy cover almost did very little damage. Uh, new mortar, or at least the old mortar died. You've got the crew. Yeah, he needs to take out that HMD, but we'll just ask him to death. Oh, screen, the AT gun is there! D-17 armoured car as well. Well, well, obviously this was the Rush T-17 armoured car. That was zero kills. Uh, it's still looking pretty bad, although... Mr. Owlman Bones will slow it down. Has actually managed to hit quite a bit. In recent events, he's Enemy took care of this squad. He needs to reman that AT gun, no problem. The squad down here was taking care of that pack, I believe. There was a pack down there, it isn't anymore. The Osman chased him off, though. And 
this is what I don't see enough of. I really like this Fighter one. Fighter bombers support Machine guns orders. in med bunkers. Uh, because they can turn around and face that way, they can turn around and face that way, and even if they come around here. Uh, they can see a whole 360 degrees around, uh, which is a real nice advantage to have, and they are very heavily protected as well. Uh, airborne hits and mines, but they don't care because they're on sprint mode. Uh, they want to get the victory point because we can win by victory points. <laughs> Uh, we do have an AT gun there as well. Sweet. So we have two AT guns uh, versus an Oswind and a Stu 42. So that isn't a bad matchup. Uh, our man Bones could potentially walk away the victor with this game. Uh, this bunker here, busy. Yeah, those guys are repairing. Well, we're repairing our tanks are back up to full health. And if they are back up to full health, we need to get them back into action or just sit around and defend. Perfectly viable to defend this man. Lots of defensive options, lots of big beefy units to do that job. Uh, airborne moving around trying to capture, hopefully not running into any more mines. They're going to have a serious problem there with these stormtroopers from the trooper. Stormtroopers, troopers, troopers. Uh, as well as backed up by grenadiers and Oswins. An overreaction, to say the least. A grenade misses from the airborne. Uh, he should have been aiming where they were moving, not where they were. That old chestnut, the Oswind also taking a few casualties. Uh, on its way, <clears throat> well, as they retreat, it's 242. 42 could be doing something, but it's not. Uh, did we just. Oh, we. we over, We're losing a munitions. A mortar! Come on! Your man Bones. Jeez. You don't get a mortar to this fight. You don't need a mortar. You need. Actually, you need. <laughs> I think you really, really need some goddamn love. That's what we need. We need a pug. This is <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> uh, grenades coming off. We're not dodging them. We probably don't need to dodge them. We'll just. We probably need the manpower drain. We're probably reaching population cap. We'll look at the range of those grenades, though, from the grenadiers. <clears throat> Another rifleman squad beat back. Vet 1, though, he hasn't lost that squad. Good job on him. Where's that vet free squad, though? We saw a vet free squad around earlier. Uh, was that the Vet Free Squad? Yes, it was! Uh, so, you need to be careful with your Vet Free Squads, man. Uh, don't let them take grenades. They could easily turn a battle around if they don't get stunned by grenades like that. Uh, we have a bombing run coming in. Two out hits the bunker and demolishes the bunker. 60% uh, life. <laughs> oh, yes! Rear armor hit from the mortar. Uh, good guy, champs. Sweet, accurate aiming. Double Oswins now, which is very, very ferocious. Uh, this is pretty much game over now. 34 minutes this game lasted. Uh, our man Bones, though, is sticking in the game for uh, the time being. <clears throat> but I shall start closing notes now. Thank you for joining me for this barbecue weekend. I'm only going to be uh, probably doing another free games tomorrow. If you want to join me for that, that'll be okay. You are welcome to do so. Uh, if I'm not on tomorrow, it's probably because I have serious technical issues, uh, like I had today, which is... I was planning on, like, streaming until very, very late and start very early, but that didn't quite happen, so unfortunate that was. But, sure enough, I'll be on tomorrow, <clears throat> right of the technical difficulties, like I said. Uh, congratulations, the Trooper, for winning this game. Alman Bones, you need to level up a little bit. But thank you for joining me on Anuki TV and the Barbecue Weekend. Uh, as for everyone else who's viewed, lick your face. I do lick your face. So, anyway, <clears throat> it's time for me to go. Final notes I am Anuki. And remember to donate, that's a good final note.